Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well at this time. Uh, welcome to Leipzig Porsche in Germany. We're going to do eight laps here today in the WTCR 2018 cars. Um, we'll have a chat about the track, the cars, what I think of them. Have a bit of fun, forget what's going on at the moment in the world. Uh, let's get this underway. So we've got 24 cars on the track, qualified 12th. I thought I'd qualified a bit better than I had, but they're all um, very, very close. Okay, here we go. Hit that up. And a misshift. It's been a while. I've been away for a very long time making videos, and I'm still misshifting. So, so this is version 1.2 of the circuit. It was released just um, today, as I'm recording this. Um, it's basically been version 1 to 1.2 in about three days. So 1.0 uh, was released. I wasn't very happy with the work that I've done on the ARW. So I kind of went back to the drawing board with it. Um, it's got a fastest, uh, an open wheel, uh, a block and a wet. Um, and I wasn't very happy at all with the, uh, the fastest, so I reworked it all. Andrea released version 1.1 and then we found that there was an issue with the grass plane going under the, directly under the road surface. So certain cars when they broke hard would actually touch the grass plane, which was, uh, which was pointed out by Cinnamon. And um, they would just... Um, slide off the track and it didn't matter what I did with the uh, W file uh, I couldn't control it so uh, Andrea has fixed that and went out to version 1.2 as you can see the race was pretty uh, pretty close pretty full on cars will have a go they'll block each other so yeah pretty pretty cool pretty cool circuit and then we'll do a get through this lap and I'll we'll talk you through a lap of Leipzig, which is at the Porsche plant in Leipzig itself in Germany. There go the tyres. Got a flag there. Right, got a little bit. I'm, I'm driving the uh, Hyundai i30. Okay, across the line. So, one lap of loops and here we go. So we head into Suzuka S's. I get some very off balance there. This is um, he's got like the FIA regulations for these cars is a, a minimum of 59% weight distribution on the front axle. I think this one's got like 61.9. You can't adjust. All mates off. Bit of, bit of door rubbing there. Uh, we just went through sunset. On the way down there to. Uh, Lowe's from Monaco. Hard on the brakes here. Oh, someone's been sent. Straight now as we head down to uh, Victoria from Munich Janeiro. Um, this corner doesn't exist anymore. Not a tight hairpin with a, a kind of difficult exit here. No real runoff. Not a straight, slight curve at the end here as we head into Mobile S, uh, Mobile One S's from Nürburgring. Go. And down into Lesmo. This. Oh wow, that was a very high down shift. That was lucky. Lesmo into bus stop, and then back onto Lesmo. And into Suntory from uh, Fuji. So as you can see, it's a very high tire wear track. Lots of turns, lots of high speed corners, lots of hairpins, and very close close to the grass. It's got the car set to 105. I think I'm going to have to um, maybe rework. Oh, oh. Accident there. We're going to have to rework some of the RW now that the surface has been fixed because I think the cars can actually get through sunset a lot quicker now. And I also think I could probably take um, the Mobile One S's and Lesmo a little bit quicker now. Lesmo was the real issue. The cars would just shoot off the track there into the grass. I think they can take it a lot faster now, there's much, much more grip on the surface. 
from the Mott Road on point three in the very near future. And then that'll be it for a little bit. Um, the actual circuit in Leipzig has three layouts. So there's the long, uh, which is the track that we're racing now. Then there's the short and the dynamic layouts. And the short and dynamic layouts introduce um, concentrating, introduce uh, so you can catch up there. Um, corkscrew and the carousel as well as parabolica. So you basically are racing around the world of all some of the most iconic corners um, from racetracks all around the world. Drop some time then. Hedging to these, uh, these cars do a great job here. Um, my only comment about these cars, absolutely love them. Absolutely love them, they're brilliant. Um, I think the feel in the WTCR 2015 cars is a little bit better than these. You get a lot more um, feedback from the rear about what the car's doing on the road surface. So I've had to crank this up all the way to 1.1 uh, feedback strength. Um, whereas most of the other cars, I'll drop, it, I'll drop it down to between 0.7 and, and, and 0.8. So there isn't really much, much feedback at all. Um, and I, I would expect more, especially these front-wheel drive cars. I should have more torque steer feel, uh, much more on the steer feel out of these. That's my only criticism. The cars themselves, the models, the physics is pretty good. Um, the models are amazing. Um, they're extremely well optimised, as you can see, I've got 24 cars on the grid. And I think I've got 15 visible. And it's not causing any issues so far. Touch wood. And have the old uh, Factor 2 locks and pops yet. And um, my AMD RX 5700 XT appears to be playing ball now with the latest driver update. So, Back to racing and hopefully get some more videos out. Um, I'd like to get a video out for Road Atlanta, so I released uh, an RW for Road Atlanta which fits the first corner issues. Um, it also adds block equipment if I have a wet path to that more or not. Um, I think uh, I can't remember if I did one either, but what it did do was fix multi class there, so I intend to do a uh, Petit Le Mans from Road Atlanta and do that as a video on the third track with everybody as well. Um, but I think I might do an upgrade to that AOW first because there's one call down that I haven't percent happy with. Um, I'm also working on the trass at the moment as well for pixel tracks. So uh, they're up to version 0.75 now which introduced the new cover map so it looks amazing in the wet. So I'm going to tweak the, um, the, wet, the wet ARW that I did there um, and completely work the work the fastest because the, uh, there's only a, a couple of cars that really seem to handle that fastest when they're well so um, I'm going to do my best to work with the block as you can see the block's working <laughs> well, let's see if we can get into the top out I've got to the spot I wasn't saying come on um, I'm also working on a heap of cars with uh, Morty and Phil Rob. I'm working on uh, another track with Andrea over at ISR. And I'm working on some tracks with IB as well. So there's lots in the pipeline. So what I'm going to try and do is get back to putting out um, at least a racing video a week. And maybe also do some instructional stuff as well. I know people are interested in that. So if you are, um, leave a comment and let me know. Um, the other thing too is if you, if you haven't been here before, um, I don't have a huge following, but if you didn't know, this is what I do. I create LW Pass for uh, Factor 2, um, which makes for much better first uh, single player um, races, as you can see. Um, much more realistic. Um, so what I do is I will leave a link to the thread over at the S397 uh, forums so you can see all the tracks that are available so far that I've worked on. I'll put a link to this track 
I'll put a link to Tommy's cars as well, uh, well worth the purchase. I think it's only about 10 euro from memory. Absolutely well worth it, these great cars, fantastic close racing, well balanced. Uh, hopefully he does an um, update for the force feedback for um, you. The other thing I mentioned to Tommy is if he adds a um, driving line for these cars in an RCD file, I will create specific ARW cars for these cars and the tracks that I work on. So that everybody can enjoy close racing with these cars anyway. Oof, these cars. So light in the rear. Lift off oversteer, braking oversteer. You've really got to set the, the braking point up straight and then and then turn. Oh, that was horrible. I'll let that position back. Oh, there go. Sorry mate. Seabring, obviously. Go, 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 go. Come on. Okay, we've got the inside, see if we can block him. Can we outbreak him? No. I've pulled all the way off the desk. Oh dear. I really need to get myself a next level racing um, GT light rig. We'll get this set up properly, I think. And I've given up a spot I wanted to get into. Ah, oh dear. Right, get it together. Last out. And I've made up, what, three spots? Tyres are really starting to show now too. I'll make no mistake there. Can any of us capitalise? Squeeze past, can I squeeze past? No, no one has got me. It's almost a wet line, that was. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this, I don't know if there's really an opportunity for me to pass. This is an amazing track, um, and it looks fantastic tonight, I probably should have done a night race, it's, it's fully lit for night too. Can I squeeze through? Can I squeeze through? No. We're going to have to settle for ninth. Oh dear. Okay guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, give me a thumbs up. 
uh, and I will see you in the next one, which hopefully won't be too far away this time. Thanks everyone. Bye.